Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter and today I'm really excited. We are going to be pouring the window insert. And so, let's get started on this thing. This is the hole where the insulated stove pipe go out, but I have to insulate it as well. So I'm going to take our jigs and set this up right in the center like that. But I want the uh, this side to be flush, so I'm going to turn it over and pour it that way. This is a, that's the side going outside right here. Do you know what we need to do? What's that, sweetie? Put that surround wrap press and seal on the outside of this on the bottom so nothing looks through. You're so smart. That's way better than what I was going to do. I'm sorry, what were you going to do? I, I was going <laughs> to spray water on this and, and just put some uh, fire clay down there so when it got wet it would kind of swell and seal in the edge but your idea is way better let's just do that press and seal saran wrap <laughs> are you sure i don't want to know what you're that, that is a that is a good idea file and just kind of go around just to make sure the edge was smooth enough that it wouldn't just immediately cut that saran wrap But this is such a good idea. We'll just stretch some press and seal saran wrap around. And we'll just make sure it's good and sealed all the way around. We don't have to worry about anything leaking out on the bottom. All right, you see how this kind of wobbles? Because here's the center, and this is all full of concrete, and this isn't. Mm -hmm. In order to make it just sit good and flat like that, I'm going to use these uh, little bits of sand in deals just for ballast, just to make it even. You see how now it's even? Pretty smart. Yeah. 
So we'll do that. And then obviously we're just going to use our Genics that we have. Uh, our main concern is that we keep this perfectly round when we pour it so that when we go to insert into it, it'll be good to go. This is a little bit bigger than the stove pipe. Remember I met, you asked me, why, is the, why did you make it bigger? <laughs> you remember that? Mm -hmm. I just did, I wanted to make sure it was plenty big. So it's got just a little bit of play right there. Um, I have these little shims that I made to be glue spreaders and I just went and grabbed them out of the shop. And so I'm just gonna break them in here. I'll tell you what guys, you're right, I'm picking at this with a chisel by hand and obviously that's what it looks like, but, and it seems really soft. This is only set up overnight. Um, you, you, you take this stuff that has set up for 28 days, it is hard, it is hard, it is incredibly hard. and. Uh, it's going to make a great insulation. I don't know if you see all those awesome little air pockets in it. So yeah, turn it slower. Okay. Yeah. But see this one, you can tell it's still wet. Yeah, it's still wet. You can tell. It's only set up for 24 hours. I mean, and it's, it's not hard. Oh, okay. Mrs. Honeydew's saran wrap idea. Let's see how well it worked out. Still really wet. It is. It is still really moist. And you can see where that little film pulled up. How nice and aerated it is. So it worked out good. I think we should be. I'm going to let that cure overnight before I try and bump it and remove these out. I have to put a bigger clevis that my the claws and my hammer will fit through. And then I'll put the claws and my hammer through like that. And It worked, baby. You seem pretty proud of yourself. Well, I just was trying to figure out, think the other night, how I'm going to get them out when they got stuck and I broke off my dowel on the other side. And uh, I figured it out. I'm going to do it on the other side now. Now, I just got to flatten this off a little bit. You going to put the lid on? Yep, I'm going to put the lid on this. 
So I'm going to do it with a wire brush, probably. Hey. Where's your file? So, hey guys, I just want to show you, looking down, that that's, that's pretty flat. That looks pretty good. I should be able to put the lid on now. So I gotta try and pull this back to where I can get that down. And there it is, babe. Oh, wait, did those go in or never out? I got them perfect. Yeah, these go out. And pop rivet right in there. That'll hold that side, and I'll do the same on the other. And then I'll run pop rivets all down the back of this and all down the front of that and it'll be golden. Hey guys, if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos in the upper right hand corner and be sure and check us out. We're on Etsy at the Honeydew Carpenter Shop on Etsy and I will catch you guys later. Thumbs up.